Hi, she was seven. I'm back, and this video is going to be about lunch dates. Okay, lunch dates. They're they're a good alternative to a uh, a date if you don't really know the person. You want to get to know the person, and it's a step up from the coffee date. Okay, we all know my famous infamous video about the coffee date. Some agree, some don't. I don't do coffee dates. Why? Because it's a waste of my money and time. Even, and I'm married, okay, I never did coffee dates even before I was married. Okay, so <laughs> the thing is you want to present yourself in a certain way on a lunch date. You don't want to be overboard. You don't want to be overly dressed up, overly made up. You don't want your hair to be all big and wild. You don't want to put like heavy perfume on. You want to keep it, you know, nice, simple, but, you know, classy. So I actually have a video on my other channel that I um, walk you through and I do my makeup I tell you stories about dates and you know give you some advice you know the same as I do on this channel except I'm just doing my makeup at the same time and giving you tips and pointers so I will link that below y'all go check it out after this video so lunch dates what should you order should you order expensive things should you order something in the middle off the lunch menu blah 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 well, here's my advice. When you go on a lunch date, most restaurants have a lunch menu on the back, okay? And you can order off this lunch menu and still get a good meal because they always have specials. Don't try to get the most expensive meal at lunch, okay? Save that for dinner, okay? Save that for the dinner date because that's when they're really trying to impress you for dinner. So go ahead and, you know, be cheap for the lunch date, but not too cheap. You know, order what you want off the lunch menu. Don't order wine. I don't suggest ordering alcohol during lunch or the daytime because it kind of sends out the wrong vibe. Like, oh, unless it's the weekend. Now, if it's the weekend, that's fine. Margarita, wine, whatever. But if it's a weekday and you're like just, you know, popping up for a lunch date, you know, during your lunch break or whatever, don't drink during the week. Okay, because that, that sends out oh, she drinks during the week, it's not even 12, you know. You don't want to put that impression out on a guy, okay? Even if he drinks, you don't drink, okay? This way he thinks that you're not, you know, trying to get, get him for his money and that you're classy and that you have discipline. This just sends like a whole um, another perspective of yourself to him now say oh yeah I, I love drink I love drinks but I prefer to drink later in the day you know when I'm done with all my things and appointments and stuff like that so that makes him know that you have a level head and that you have your priorities in order okay don't be like oh yeah girl uh, oh yeah let's turn up turn up you know don't be like uh, order in the bar <laughs> get an iced tea water Perrier whatever you know make it look classy don't I hate it you know what I'm sorry y'all I have to say I hate it when people order soda on dates it's like it's so unclassy and it makes you look like you don't care about your health and that you know you're not used to nice things so order something classy okay order a classy drink even if it's not alcoholic you know Oh, like Perrier, do you have sparkling water? Oh, do you have peach iced tea? Don't be like, oh, I want sweet tea. I want, I want a Coke uh, with a straw. You know, don't be, don't. Mm -mm. Okay, that would turn me off if I was the guy. I'd be like, mm. Actually, you know, it, would, it used to turn me off on dates when guys ordered soda as well. I'm like, mm. Okay, anyway, that's just me though. I have high expectations. Okay, so next you're going to Choose your outfit. Don't show too much skin. You're at lunch, okay? There are children present. <laughs> You're in the daytime. And plus, if he asks you out on a date for the evening and there's no difference between your look, it's not gonna it's not gonna like wow him. So you wanna keep it simple for lunch. And then if he asks you out on a dinner date, then you can wow him. You can put out pull out all your stops, right? But you wanna look classic, someone he can take home to the mother meet you know meet his family that's what you want to go for for the lunch look okay you don't want to go all out okay but you want to keep it simple but classy and neutral okay you don't want to show too much skin 
you don't want to be all, you know, jeweled up like a Christmas tree. You want to keep it simple. So this is the um, advice I'm giving on my other video. And also, you know, after that lunch date is over, it's over. You don't have to have the pressure of going for drinks afterwards, going to a club afterwards, going to the movies afterwards. So you're just pretty much making an impression, getting it in there, and then leaving. So you want to leave him with a, a good, you know, perception of you. So you have to come clean, classy, elegant. Um, you don't want to drink. You want him to know your priorities in order. So he's serious. So he he wants to be serious about you. He's like, oh, I like her. She's classy. Look how she looks. She didn't have all that, you know, stuff on her. I can tell she was a woman because a lot of these guys are complaining. Oh, y'all wear too much makeup. We can't tell if y'all are men or women. We're gonna take y'all swimming on first dates. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you want to you want at least show a little bit of your natural beauty on a lunch date. So he knows that, you know, you can go either way. You can you can glam up. Or you could be natural. And if he invites you on the coffee date, like I said on my video that y'all haven't probably gone to see yet, but y'all will be, for the coffee date, y'all are going to laugh because <laughs> I did a look for the coffee date, okay? Y'all got to go check that out. Yeah, it's hilarious. Well, it was to me, okay? I laugh at my own jokes. I don't know. Do y'all do that? Okay, so now that the lunch date's over, he's going to walk you to your car. Make sure your car is clean, okay? Because guys always walk you to your car on lunch dates. It's daylight, they're going the same way in the parking lot. You met him probably, and you need to have your car clean. Don't have all that nasty junk in the back seat or, you know, your car all dusty and dirty. Clean your car because guys always say this, oh, you can tell how uh, a woman's hygiene is by her car if it's clean or not, or her house. So keep your car clean, ladies, or just go to the car wash right before you hit your lunch date, okay? Make a car wash stop or clean it out the night before so you don't have to, you know, rush and run late. But ladies, keep that car clean, okay? I don't care if it's a hoopty. I don't care if it's old and scratched and need the paint job. If it's clean, you know, at least he sees that you care about things, okay? And make sure your nails aren't ragged. Y'all, okay, I don't care if you have short nails, long nails, acrylic nails, make sure they're either done, you know, retouched, or, you know, go to the Dollar Tree and get you some fake nails and pop those things on. I don't care. But don't come in there with you no know, crusty, jaggedy nails that have chips in them because that is a turnoff to most guys. And it, it shows that you don't care about yourself. Now, I have had chipped, crusty nails. But I haven't been going on dates. I'm married. I got kids. I got a life. And I'm not trying to impress anybody. But I do try to keep them at least decent. Okay? <laughs> so, y'all, on the date, do the nails. Don't skip that step. If you can't do anything with your nails, take off all the polish and cut them short. Okay? Quick, easy fix. Now, now phones on, on lunch dates. Phones on dates. Okay? If you're always in your phone, that's that's a turn off okay I don't care if you are you know t taking pictures for Instagram he don't know that he don't know what you're doing so if you if you're gonna take pictures for Instagram you have to tell him and just do one picture and then put your phone down because that's the rudest thing you can do on a date is be on your cell phone now if he's on his cell phone you know that's a red flag you know and if he's on his cell phone for most of the time, go ahead and order whatever you want. Get his money, girl, because he's not into you if he's into his cell phone. So, you know that this is not going to work, so you might as well get you a good meal out of it, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, that would make me so mad if I was out on a date and the guy was just on his phone. I would be so mad. I'd be like, you know what? We could have stayed. We could have just chatted on, on Facebook. And I could have just went through the drive through and ordered a pizza. I didn't have to waste my time coming to meet you if you're just going to be on your phone. Or you can text him from your phone and be like, get off the damn phone. <laughs> That's something I would do. I don't know. Y'all aren't that bold, but I would. I don't care. Plus, um, you know, when you have a unique personality and you're witty and you're just you know different than most girls that's what guys like that's what draws them in so you got to have a sense of humor you got to be different you can't be like trying to be perfect and fit into a mold because 
everybody does that. You want to stand out. You want to act like you're a fun person and that he can have fun with you and that being with you won't be so uptight and boring, okay? So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to go and subscribe to my other channel, my beauty channel, and click on that video I told you all about so you all can laugh with me, get ready with me, and get some advice as well. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.